We're gonna ambush Juan Gonzalez, right? With yep. green hack. Okay. Hello, Juan. How, you go, How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Good to see you. Good to see Do you me. mind if I ask you some questions here? Absolutely. Sure. Great. I'm, a, I'm gonna hand you this microphone. Yeah. So, we're here at the road show. We got the green heck trailer here. So why don't you tell us what's going on? I'm, I, I have to tell you, I'm kind of new to dampers mm -hmm. and fans and air moving low speed fans and sure. stuff like this. So yeah. I'd love for you to kind of give us a rundown of what we're looking at here. I see some different dampers and then. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, I'm in the dampers uh, business unit. So yeah. what we have here are some examples of some control dampers. So you've got three different types. You've got our galvanized steel airfoil blight, okay. airfoil blade type, extruded aluminum frame, extruded blade type. Then you got our thermally broken uh, frame, a thermally broken blade type here. So in terms of cost, we're looking standard, standard medium, medium, higher high, cost, right. the higher value. Niche applications, right? So got it. When you need something thermally broken. Exactly. So what would be it's a, our most common? So okay, let me talk to you about some of the advantages, right, of our control damper. So looking at this VCD33, Green Heck utilizes what's called a variable size blade. So what that means is for our control dampers, we utilize four different widths, four inch, five inch, six inch, and seven inch. Okay. Our competitors use only one width. And what they do is uh, in order to accommodate their height, they'll rip that blade kind of like a plank, right? Right. A table saw. They'll rip that blade down in order for it to fit the height of that damper. So oh, they might all be six inch and then a four inch. Exactly. So it's a different size one in there. So what happens with that is um, they need to add what's called a closure strip onto the damper, which reduces your free area and um, the pressure drop isn't as good as ours. Right. So as you can see, ours doesn't have that closure strip. We have what's called a sweep seal. And that seal, when that blade closes, will butt up against the inside of the head and seal and cause a tight Okay, seal. so that I understand and the viewers understand. So the closing strip is needed because they're chopping off correct. part of the actual damper and it needs something to close against. That's correct. But then when it's open, it takes up some free area there, causes additional pressure drop. That's correct. Got it. The other advantage is when their blades are closing or opening, depending on the airflow, it's fighting against that blade as the blade's closing because the air, it's, it's other air's coming in this way. It's Got pushing it. against that blade, right? By ours having uh, a symmetrical design, the same airflow that's hitting that top is actually pushing the bottom. So it's gonna actually help it open and close. Got it. Less, Got it. less wear and tear on that actuator, right? That's so right, yep. Extend the life of the damper, extend the life of the actuator, so. It's good. The, the, the little nuances that people really don't think about. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's in our design. We build the quality into our design. We do what's called a toggle lock quarter on these two. Mm -hmm. um, some of our competitors, they'll run a frame out and then they'll fold it into a square and just okay. weld one corner. We actually do four separate pieces, put it into a toggle lock machine, makes it a more square, sturdy frame. So, Got it, yeah. which avoids the racking exactly. and things like that, exactly. which, which dampers don't like that. racking and yeah, they've got to be square, right? Right when you install it, otherwise you're going to have issues. Right, you'll lose the seal buzzing. and it'll be scraping and exactly, stuff like that. Exactly right, Tommy. So just a lot of options when it comes to controls here. You can see our manual quadrants, but these can uh -huh. be equipped with actuators, 120, 24 volt. Okay. They can be two position, modulating, balancing with the potentiometer. Right. We can even put a pull chain on these if you got a control damper 20 feet in the air and you just want to- Right, you just want to open and close it. it. Exactly. That'd be kind of so, fun. Yeah, just some of the green heck advantages that we like to tell. Those are great. Now, from a damper standpoint, you got galvanized aluminum. Yep. Two different versions. One is you got the thermal brake, but when would you use galvanized versus aluminum? Typically, when somebody's looking for corrosion resistance. Got right? it. Um, and we don't have a sample here, but you could actually get this one in stainless steel as well. Okay. So basically, you're going to come down to how much corrosion resistance you're looking for mm -hmm. and what are your costs, right? Got do you it. want to go with stainless steel or do you want to go with aluminum? VCDs can also be coated. Nice. So, you know, you've got an option there too. So, um, we and can the, see what else to the end user, right? Yeah. That's and then the thermal want. break is important if you've got a, you if know, you want you're to reduce in condensation in, inside of a building, right? Right. Keep it separate from the outside elements. This is where this comes into play. Right. So, and, and like I said, it's so if you're in an part. area where it's minus 20, exactly, this side of the damper is very cold, it could transfer over here where it's not insulated and Correct. you can get all kinds of 
Correct. Moisture in your space, in your unit, or whatever. And if you look closely, there's an insulation in nice. the middle of that blade. So Excellent. It's the same thing with the frame. So. And now, aren't these made in the Carolinas? These are, a, we've got four damper factories. Okay. We've got one in California, where I'm based out of, one in Kentucky, one in uh, central Wisconsin, and then in Tulsa. Got it. So, got it. Um, as far as the future, there's probably some thoughts of putting it out here in the Carolinas. There you go. I think guys, louvers are made out here. Louvers are definitely different than dampers. We're going to talk about yeah, those later, probably. Louvers are but. definitely out here in North Carolina. Awesome. So. Well, that was a great rundown of the dampers. Can you explain to us the HVLS fans? Are you the fan guy too? Steven will probably be better. We'll grab Steven about. again. Grab Steven and tell him to talk to you. Awesome. Don't Thank you. Fans here. Excellent job. Thank Thanks, you so buddy. much. Take I appreciate care. you. Thanks. Thanks for watching.